This is the High School Hockey League Report on ADHSHL.com and Black Dog Enterprises. Hey everybody, Eric Pesolano back with you for another week of ADHSHL action. We'll start it off in the Varsity 2A division where Capistrano United took on Villa Park and the Coyotes did their work early and often. 9-2 the final score here. Cameron McCartan pitched in with a couple of goals for the Coyotes. Michael Batusov had a couple of assists as well. Good effort on the other side for the Spartans by goaltender Zach Kellerup. He stopped 38 of 47 shots and he was peppered all day. He did the best he could for his teammates. Just Capistrano is very, very strong and came out with a victory. Game 2 saw Huntington Beach take on Corona Norco in the Stingrays. Doing much like Capistrano United pouring it on early and often. 8-3 the final score here. Brendan Weir tallied a hat trick in the game, added an assist as well. While he got some help from his teammates Kyle Smotries and Dakota Risto, who both had two assists in the game. On the other side for the Oilers, it's Cole Reddle. Who else? He scores all three of his team's goals. Although they came up a little bit short, and the Stingrays get the victory. Third game of the day saw Los Alamitos take on the Damian Spartans, but the Griffins come away with a 6-0 shutout win here. Jason Epperly scored twice for the Griffins and also added two assists, while goaltender Rock Boynton stopped all 21 shots he faced. In the victory, on the other side, Jonathan Bolu, goaltender for the Spartans, saw 38 come his way and he was able to stop 32, so good effort on his part. Fourth game of the day saw San Diego South take on Corona Del Mar, and how about this, San Diego South, a 3-2 win. They hang on over the Ice King, Sean Simmons gets a goal and two assists in the game. He's good to go. Oh, and a centering shot, off front, and it comes. High goal, Russ, far side, Riley shot, score. How about that for a play? while Nick Patton, the goaltender for San Diego South, stops 25 of 27 shots, and he picks up the W. Oh, watch that move. And coming back the other way, oh, Gordon on the other side. Oh, better save. by Patton again. Matt Matusik made his ADHSHL debut, and he stopped 29 of 32 shots. A valiant effort there for the Ice Kings. Andrew Templeman and Strom Ossenlocker both had a goal each, though CDM came up just a little bit short. In our only Varsity 1A game of the weekend, Jay Serra took down Servite and boy did the Lions do work on the Friars. 11 to nothing the final score here. Zeke Estrada scored twice and added an assist while Tanner Richardson was helping in any way he can. He had three assists in the game as well. Telling stat of the game, Jay Serra outshot Servite 50 to three. The Friars had one shot on goal in each of the three periods, while Jay Serra's defense, well, it was mostly offense in this game. Nick Valdez basically stood between the posts and did nothing all game. Estrada out front, one, two, three. Griffin short, put it in, oh, and somehow Newberry got a glove on it. What a save by the Servite Netminder. That happens with 12.24 to go here in the second period. I have not a clue how we got that. Great win for Jay Serra as they continue to stay atop the Varsity 1A standings. Let's take a look at those standings while we're on the subject. Orange Lutheran, Santa Margarita, and Jay Serra all have two wins in the books. Jay Serra's lost twice, so they're down at the bottom by the tiebreaker rules. And Orange Lutheran right now holding the tiebreaker just by goal differential. Servite, they have a win on the board earlier this season, so they have three points in the standings and we're still awaiting the Bell Arm and Bells to come down to Southern California to get their season underway. It's going to happen in a couple of weeks. At the Varsity 2A division, Capistrano United has 12 points. They are 4-0. Los Alamitos is 4-0 as well, but one of their wins came in overtime, and that's only worth two points in this league, so they have 11 points. They're in second place. San Diego South is 3-2. They have eight points. One of their wins also came in the overtime session. Damien is in fourth with seven points. They are 2 1 0 oh, 2. And Corona Norco is 2 and 1. They have six points and they're hanging out. That's the top half of a varsity 2 way bracket. Next week on SportsnetUSA.net, listen in as we give you live coverage of Long Beach Prep versus Los Alamitos at 3 p.m. And then Corona Del Mar at Edison at 4.45. That's coming up on Saturday, our only two games of the weekend. And we'll be coming to you live from Lakewood Ice for the first time. And you can hear those games exclusively 
on sportsnetusa.net. That's going to do it for this week, everybody. We'll see you next time. This has been the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Report on ADHSHL.com and Black Dog Enterprises. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.